gives it to the bus. Butterworth held it nicely, playing well. Worthington, and that's the first of the derby. Really nice move by Leeds United. Frank Worthington scores his first of the season. But the move, in fact, started on the far side by Martin Dickinson, who fed it to Eddie Gray, who linked nicely with Butterworth, took the return well, and Worthington finished in a style that he would have enjoyed. who takes advantage of the double error really first by Smith the second by the skipper lines but Boulder demands more from his side but for the moment Wellington takes all the congratulations lovely control in the finish but the goal as a result of Wednesday errors Five men like Heard here push forward. Butterworth, Heard. Butterworth. Oh, and it got a slight deflection, I think. But anyway, it beat the goalkeeper on his near side. But the flag is up for offside. Well, there must be a debate here because the discussions in the close season have been about whether players are interfering with play and indeed the referee has given the goal the smiles for Aidan Butterworth the referee turns aside protest from Sheffield Wednesday and I must say all power to Mr Seville who went to talk to his linesman but who clearly thought that with a shot like that, which may have taken a deflection, nobody, whether he was in an offside position or not, could possibly have been seeking to gain an advantage. From Leeds United. First time, really, we've seen him on Match of the Day, I think, and what an impression he made. He lays that ball off there to Kevin Hurd. How he makes the game easy by coming to the right and making himself a simple target. Can't miss that pass, can you? And then, once he's on the ball, he's seeking to steer it in Hurd's path and push him into the box. But defender recovers, and he chooses not to do that. But once the ball comes out to him, that's the moment where he shows he's got courage and aggression, shapes himself up, has a whack, gets a little bit of luck off the posterior there of the uh, Sheffield Wednesday player and holds out in the net. But I want you to look at this for another reason. How well the referee, Alan Seville, and his linesman worked out this situation. Frank Worthington, at the top of the picture there, had been flagged offside. But showing us perfectly how to interpret the new instruction, they discussed whether they thought he was interfering with play, and at the end of that period, having got it absolutely right, they brought a smile to Aidan Butterworth's face. Now, the old man of the day, <laughs> if you'll forgive me, Frank Worthington. This is Eddie Gray on the ball now, and it's young Butterworth who actually lays the wall pass back to him there to give him the opportunity with his sweet left foot to ease the ball in to Worthington's path. Now, look at that death chip there. If a Brazilian had done it, we'd have been talking about it for a week. That was Frank Worthington, ex-England centre forward. And, of course, he finished his afternoon by getting another goal from a goal kick, incidentally. Watch the way young Butterworth jumps high for this ball by not getting underneath it. Those few strides gave him the elevation he needed. Worthington wriggles his way through, but see how when the goalkeeper thinks he's got the ball, like a snake, he sticks out that left foot and gets it in the goal. And afterwards, he underlined for amateurs and pros the prime object of the game, enjoyment. Yeah, I was to enjoy the game. You know, and it's, it's there to be enjoyed. Eddie, uh, he uh, says this to everyone at the club, he wants everybody to enjoy the game, you know. Obviously, it makes it that much better when you're winning games, but uh, overall, you know, still enjoying it and uh, keeping going. Frank Worthington clearly happy and settled with his latest club, but the future of England's World Cup... School. Graham turns it back. Again by Leeds 
though. Up down by Paul Hart. He took it on the half volley in a lovely piece of keeping. Corner for Leeds. Paul Hart right in there. The two big number fives tangling there. And it was Roger Brown who got it away. Thomas has scored for Leeds. Well, his first goal of the season. It didn't give uh, Jerry Payton a lot of chance. He was unsighted and the ball is in the back of the net. Get back into it. Full of three leads two with a quarter of an hour to go. 